All right, yeah, reset it. All right. All right. What the fuck? Oh! Wait, when you reset the game, it turns into a different game. Here, reset again. <laughs> oh my it's god. It's two games in one. It's Tiny Toon Adventure 6. That's why it's called you, 6. You ever heard of this game? You ever heard of Tiny Toon Adventure 6? <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah. But, yeah, this uh, was this was a game that every child remembers from their childhood. Every child who lived in China or Poland. Where they only have bootleg games. But here in the US, we did not have Tiny Toon Adventure 6. So here we are. It looks like we're going to play as Babs Bunny, the pink rabbit. There's no text in the bottom. I'd like to. Yeah, I think. I'd like to note. Supposed. To, I hear text. I hear text scrolling. Don't see it. All right. Now she's talking. She said to be a good. Okay. This uh, controls pretty similar, from what I remember, to the uh, the non-bootleg Tiny Toons game. Isn't this just the non-bootleg game? This? Isn't um, this the same level? Is this the same exact level? It might be. It looks very similar. I think it uses the same sprites. I'm not 100% because it's been about. 58 years since I played Time Tunes for NES. I have very fond memories of the now, original Time Tunes. Now, I do have to say something. I think that the control is terrible on this. I can't... I've never played a game that controls like this. Here, why don't, why don't you give it a whirl? Yeah? All right. Oh, he just hopped off the screen oh. automatically. All right. Here, give it a whirl. See right. see how oh. he... <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is something to be uh, felt to be believed. Jesus but Christ. Just try to observe how oh, Buster that's... Bunny here is moving. Just... You start slow and then instantly go really fast. There's no, there's no acceleration to it. Oh, that's horrible. It's just two speeds. Oh, that's slow and really fast. So you can't just keep jumping every. You actually have to. Oh my god. If you get momentum, do you jump further? Because then you can't really jump unless. Yeah, you yeah. get momentum when you jump. So you have to at least get a running start. Oh. You have to walk at least, like one or two grid squares. Okay, so this can't possibly be the actual game that was on the No, NES. there's no this way. I remember bad. the game actually being reasonable. Oh, so no. I'm, it's a precious resource. Not only reasonable, I think I remember it actually being a pretty good game. What's this mouse's name? Do you want to play Montana Mash? Oh, I certainly do. Would yeah. you like the rule? There's only one rule. Don't lose. Use the button to move. Bop. With the A button. Bonus for 200 points. Let's go. That was fast. Bop. It's... This is like that Bugs Bunny meme. Oh god, it's like double... Where he's, where he's hitting that king guy down into the hole. Have you ever seen that meme? No. Oh. I, I, maybe maybe it's not a meme, but I've seen it. I, don't I think you can press down to go downwards. You too. can, but... Yeah. Well, I'm gonna blame you. This You're... looks like it controls really well, and this looks like something that you should have gotten a perfect score <laughs> on. <laughs> Music sounds familiar too. Tiny Toon Adventure, yeah, because it's from Tiny Toon Adventure Six. Oh, it is. Oh, well, yeah, okay. That's this game. Six. Did you want to keep playing? No. Do you want <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to? I just pawned the controller off my head. That was great, man. Oh, at least you can jump on guys. No oh, man. So I spent half the day at the Pet Boys. I was gonna go to the gym. Didn't get to the gym. I walk outside of my house. I look at my car. The rear side passenger tire is completely flat. I go to the gas... I roll slowly to the gas station. It's right around the corner from my house. And I filled, I filled up the tire. And I could just hear it seeping air. Oh, as, I was filling it, as I was filling it up. Whoa! It's a boss. Say I took it to the... Long story short, I took it to Pet Boys. I got to watch the Ravens game. While I was in the waiting room. And they didn't fucking... Let me know when my car was ready. So I was there for like an extra half an hour because the employees forgot to tell me that the car was ready to go. So yeah, we started GS a little late today too. And I didn't get to go to the gym. But there was a guy in the in the waiting room reading uh, Jason Schreier's Blood and Sweat and Pixels. Are you serious? And I asked him about it. Yeah. Wow. See, so yeah, I was kind of... I'm actually surprised. Yeah. We just got no, the help another of, gamer uh, in the yeah in the lobby. So yeah, I asked him about it. I didn't know what it was. I thought that the book was about like the history of games. It was apparently about game dev, and he wanted he wanted to be a game developer. But I'm surprised. Yeah. He never got over the initial hump, is what he said. And I told him about Game Soup and that we make games. And he didn't actually seem that impressed. <laughs> but 
<laughs> I guess it's not that impressive, honestly. Yeah, but there you go. Every time I read an article by him, he pops up on Reddit every once in a while. Cause Schreier? Yeah, the old Jay Schreier, as we call him. Yeah. He pops up every once in a while, and, uh... uh yeah, at, at the bottom of all his articles, he's got his signature and his, his about, and he's like, Yeah, yeah, be sure to read my book. And I, I always thought maybe someday I'll read it, but I never got around to it. Yeah, uh, Ed reading? Yeah, right. <laughs> Between the two of us. You know, Ed doesn't read. No. I do watch Netflix now, which is... Instead of reading at night, it's oh, a really? bad thing. It's a ter terrible idea. Why? Are movies better than well, yeah. And TV shows better than reading? Yeah, but uh, yeah, re they are. reading helps you sleep. Yeah, you know? I guess so. Because it's, it's fucking boring. boring as shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean to be fair, oh, well, I, 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 I've been reading this book about animation recently, but mostly it's pictures. When there's pictures, it can be pretty interesting. So what you're saying is picture books. Yeah, and comics. Like if it's just words on a page, oh my especially God. fiction. I can't do it, man. Can't do it. I zone out after a page and a half. Okay, this is... Oh, good. Oh my god! You little bitch! Look how... F what? He drops that package. This is Tiny Toon 6, man. This is a classic. Look how quickly he drops this package. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a little bit fast. Oh, I'm going <laughs> <laughs> No I think, gravity. I think you have to go backwards to dodge that. You do. Like most of the time, when there's something like that, you usually gotta like run through it or stand still and you don't get hit. But I in this, you gotta like run backwards. Okay. Oh, yeah. I couldn't tell. Yeah, I couldn't either. Better get all those fruits. What do they do? It's got Mario pipes in this. Mario pipes. Okay, what game is this a ROM hack of? Because it's... it's gotta be. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just Tiny Toons, but just with shit control. Because it might have. I think that the sprites are the same as yeah. the old Tiny Toons game. I don't think that's different. So it's probably just a hack of that, but just with. Like, that they couldn't get the control right. I think what they usually do is they take levels from another game. Oh, really? Like, I'm, I would... I mean, come on. You think a Chinese... I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> what, like a, a Chinese bootleg developer? Yeah, well... Is gonna... I, is, I, gonna I, is gonna take the time to design their own levels. But I don't know for a fact that this was a Chinese bootleg. Wait, oh, this is a dead end. So, I don't know. That do you was... think that the levels are well designed? This doesn't feel like it. I don't <laughs> think. I, I think they probably did do the level designs. You think? Yeah, because they're shit. All right. All right. But I mean, you know, plenty were on the NES. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Oh my god. All I'm saying is, I don't think anybody would have taken the time. Like, this is obviously an existing uh, tile set, right? Oh, you might be able to. You can probably slide under that. I bet you can. All right, here I go. Who? <laughs> Let's try again. Who? All right. You press jump. Try, try sliding oh. again. See if it works, man. Let's try it. Maybe can, can you crawl? No. What the hell? Crawling in my skin. Like, that's exactly what that looks like. This yeah. looks like it's trying to teach you how to slide under things. It's supposed to be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, if it's select? What if you press select to slide? Oh, you know what? I got this. Check it out. Oh, yeah, you can fucking switch characters in the old Tiny Toons games. Why don't we think of that? You know, it's funny. None of them can slide. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Wait, try, try Hampton. That's his name, Hampton. There's the yeah, fatal there flaw in Tiny Toons Adventures, Tiny Toons 6, is that none of the characters can slide! I saw that Aquaman movie. Oh, you really? seen that one? No. Wow, man. This might be a dead end. It looks real. Tiny Toons? Aquaman. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's just a movie. So there. Was it good? I just walked right in because yeah, of the momentum it's, thing. It's, re it's really, really corny. You have to go into it um, expecting a really corny, cartoonish experience. You know what, Joe? I and, had enough. Um, they say the word Ocean Master again and again. Ocean Master? <laughs> there's Ocean a lady. Master. There's a lady sitting behind us in the theater. Every time they said Ocean Master, she cracked up for about four minutes straight. <laughs> which, Why? So that was like half the movie. I mean, I guess it's funny, right? Yeah. It's funny to hear it. Oh, how do I get up there? I bet I can do it. Check this out. I There's can't. gotta be a way to do it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, play as Plucky Duck. He Ooh. probably jumps higher. Nope. He used to be able to, like, flap downwards. Can you mash the jump button as I, you're going down? I tried it. I don't. I just don't think it works in I don't this think bootleg. It works in the, yeah, it, it doesn't seem like the characters are different at no. all. No. Hmm. Because the original NES version of this game was good. Alright, so we're gonna play another game that's completely different from this one and has nothing to do with this one. Alright, how's that sound? Alright, here we are. Water Chine. 
with Tiny Toon 4. Well, this is um Bugs Bunny's cake birthday. Crazy Castle. Birthday cake. This is Crazy Castle. Oh. Or is it Birthday Bash? It's Birthday Bash. Wait, is this just Birthday Bash, but it's called Tiny Toon 4? Tiny Toon 4. He's been invited to a huge party in his own. Yeah, this is fucking... This is just Bugs Bunny's Birthday Bash. I mean, they gave it a different name. There's got to be something special about it. I don't think so. I think this is exactly Bugs Bunny's Birthday Bash. Oh, come on. We know about the storyline of Bugs Bunny's Birthday Bash. Everybody's played this game. If you haven't played this game, you know... It's not a good game, though, is it? Don't don't correct us. No, it's terrible. We I played a lot shit. of this game when I was a kid. Yeah, it's complete shit. Was it always this choppy? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No, that's unforgivable. Holy God. This is actually a lot worse than I remember. I had this, actually. Maybe that's where I played it then. This was one of those flea market pickups. My dad probably got it for two dollars and fifty cents. The flea market. That's too much. Yep. It sure is. It looks like it's playing at fifteen frames per, per second or something, or maybe maybe it's just thirty and it just looks bad. I, don't I, know. I was gonna say five. I think you're being a little generous. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. So yeah. anyway, I mean, it's fucking Bugs Bunny's birthday bash labeled as Tiny Toon Four. Whoops. <laughs> made an error. Tiny Sorry about tune. that. Tiny Toon. Tiny Toon. So what the hell does S stand for? I have no idea. It stands for soap. There's soap bubbles coming out of his head. Alright? Everybody remembers in the Bugs Bunny cartoons that Bugs Bunny just really hated taking baths. And bubbles. And that bubbles would kill him. <laughs> but Elmer Fudd never found out. Bugs Bunny was always trying to keep the secret from Elmer Fudd. And Wiley e. Coyote, because those are the two that were always trying to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. Yeah, Ed bought it. Okay, good. So they'll probably others will buy it as well. And yeah, and then then when they discovered that they could use soap to kill him, they killed him, and he has never heard from him again. Bugs Bunny's dead. That's why you never see him anymore. You don't even see him on T-shirts anymore. Like, you always saw him in the 90s on t-shirts, smoking a cigarette and wearing baggy pants. <laughs> but... Smoking a cigarette? You never what? see that anymore. No. That never happens anymore, and that's because he was killed by Wile E. Coyote with a soap bubble. 